Hey guys, it's Serena Lives, and today I'm doing a video to my family and friends. A letter. Video letter. Whatever. Um, so, let's get started. Alright, so, here we go. Shut up. Done listening to your problems. I'm done with all your shit. I'm done with your judgments. I'm done with your sh- Yeah, done with your shit. Completely. Done caring about you. Done caring about you. I don't care if you're family. I don't care if you're like family. I'm done. I don't care what you have to say. I don't care about your judgments. I don't care about your shit. And I'm not going to continue to. As of almost a week ago, I had a mental breakdown because of one of my friends. And, um... She made me feel so much like shit that I blacked out and found myself sitting in the bathtub with a knife and with cuts on my legs. I had no idea what happened. Rex, I came in the bedroom and started crying. My ex walked in and asked what happened. I showed him the scars. I told him exactly what I'm telling you. And except I explained the breakdown in more depth. But I'm not doing that right now. And so he called me down. And that's officially when I decided I'm done. Done listening to everyone's problems. Because all it's given me, all the help I have given all of you, has gone nowhere. You don't either don't listen, or you do the complete opposite of what I say, and you get more shit. And then expect me to come and help you after. And I'm just sitting here like, boy, what the fuck? I told you to do this, not the opposite, and look where it got you. Shit. A couple days ago... My friend, we're going to call her P, and she, uh, P, but anyway, P told me that she was feeling like she wanted to cut and self-harm. So I told her, go right ahead and see where it gets you. And she's like, what? I'm like, yeah, I don't care. It's not my problem. It's yours. You're the one who feels that way. So either go right ahead or do the right thing and shut up and just deal with your problems in a better way. Because that's not going to solve your problems. And then she said, now I'm feeling suicidal. And I'm like, well, you can either be selfish and do it. Or you can, again, shut up and deal with it in a proper manner. And so she decided to start crying. And I'm like, well, that's one way to deal with it. And she's like, because of what you said. You can't just say that to someone. I'm like, yes, I can. I just did. <laughs> and that's how I'm going to continue to be. Because ever since that mental breakdown, I decided that what's best interest for me is to stop caring about other people's problems, stop dealing with other people's problems, and focus on myself and I barely care about myself as it is but I want to get back to that place where I did care where I did appreciate myself and what I do and even after I feel that way again I'm not gonna help you anymore I don't care if you're family all this negative energy from you it's nothing but cancer to me and I'm supposed to be taking care of myself and that's what you all are telling me to do but you don't let me you only want me to care about you and your problems you won't let me take care of myself And I'm done listening to your problems. I'm done caring. If you have a problem, 
Go talk to someone. You want to kill yourself? Call the suicide hotline. Call the crisis center. I'll give you the numbers. You send that shit to me, I'll go look it up, send it to you, and boom. They can help you. They're the professionals. Then you go do what you need to do. But I'm not helping you. Anymore. It's not my job to help you anymore. I realized, I thought my purpose on this planet was to help people. And now, I realize it's not. At least not at this point anymore in my life. It might have been before, but it's not anymore. And now, to my family. One second. Does this piss you off? Does this hair color piss you off? Do these fake piercings piss you off? Can't wait till they're real. Cause I love them. And I love how they look on me. I don't care what you have to say and your judgments and your opinions. Even to my friends. Who say, oh, you shouldn't do that. It's my body. It is my choice. And I'm not going to deal with it. See, family, they should have, they should understand what you believe and what you think. But my family just judges me, especially my grandpa. And it bugs me. It really does. I love him to death, but I can't be myself around him. And it's not right. I should be able to be myself around my family, but I can't. Because they all judge me. My cousin, I am scared of her because all she did when I was younger was judge me. And to this day, she still does. I am scared to be around her. Because I don't want to deal with her. I don't want to have anything to do with her. I'm scared shitless because every time she did that shit, it made me angry. And one year, I finally did it. I lashed out at her right in front of everyone in the family on Christmas Eve when we were at my grandparents' house. Right in front of everyone. You know what I said? She called me emo. And you know what I said? You have some nerve talking to me like that. Some nerve. And I'm supposed to appreciate you for being my family and I'm supposed to treat you right when you treat me like shit? No. And I cursed right in front of everyone and all they did was yell at me for cursing and I'm just like, if you had to put up with her, wouldn't you? All I had to say, and all they did was shut up immediately. And I am getting another haircut. And I'm going to have my head shaved around like this. So this part from here is going to be all gone. It's going to be shaved. And I'm just going to have this middle part right here. And I'm going to be judged for that by my family, too. But it's not my problem, and I don't care. My grandpa, for sure, is going to judge me. My cousin, next time I see her, is definitely going to say something. This year, she said nothing to me. She just gave me dirty looks, which is progress. I wore this fake septum to, the, septum to Thanksgiving. All I did was get ugly stares from my family. They would get in my face and look at it. They would... Just stare at me like I was some sort of alien. 
like I didn't belong there and I should and here's what I'm gonna say to that if you can't appreciate me and just accept what I am then you don't deserve to have me as a family member you do not deserve me I have worth and I'm slowly realizing that but I do not deserve to be treated that way nobody does especially my family and I will not put up with it. I refuse to go to family gatherings now because I'm so scared of being judged. So next time I go to a family gathering, I'm gonna dress the way I usually do on a daily basis, which is usually skinny jeans and a t-shirt and a hoodie. My fake piercings, my hair dyed, pretty colors, like I love, do my makeup the way I love, my dark eyeliner, my dark colors, even though this isn't very dark, my colors, my everything. And I'm going to wear whatever I want to wear. I'm going to have my hair however I want my hair. I'm going to have everything the way I want it. And they can judge all they want, and I'm not gonna care. Same with my friends. I'm not gonna care about your judgments, and especially with my ex and my smoking habit. He yelled at me, cursed at me, and I was crying. But inside, I was just like, you have some nerve to talk to me like that. Especially after what you put me through. Like, are you kidding me? But after everything he's done for me, I have a right to be appreciative of him. But that does not give him the right to talk to me that way. It does not give him the right to treat me like shit. And I'm not going to put up with it. I'm not going to put up with anyone's shit. And so his ex-girlfriend slash girlfriend slash whatever the fuck they are I was just like, he's probably going to yell at you about that, buying more cigarettes. And I'm just like, I don't care. I'll give it to him. Give him all my shit that I got. If he goes and yells at me. I don't care if he yells. Because when he yells, it gets scary. But I don't care. And you all are going to get what you deserve. And I hope karma gets to you quick. After Everything all of you have put through, especially family. Or family. People I can't be myself around. Don't deserve me. This is who I am. This care, my hair color, these fake piercings, which one day will be real. One day when I get my tattoos, those are me. And you can judge me. But the tattoos I'm going to get are for personal reasons. And I've explained that to my family and they don't care. I'm like, other people in the family have tattoos. Yeah, well, it's different. No, it's not. It's not any different. This is kind of a rant as well, but I hope everyone sees this. Well, I'm going to go cool down, have a cigarette, chill, then just be myself. Be happy, not dealing with all of you. Leave your hate comments down below. Alright, bye.